Welcome back to the video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne, and today I wanna go over how to unlock your Samsung Galaxy A35 so you can use it with any carrier. The first thing you'll need to do is go to the phone app and you're gonna type in star pound zero six and pound. This is gonna show us our IMEI. You'll wanna write down this first number where it says IMEI one. We'll need that for later on in the video. Next, you're gonna press okay. And we're gonna to go to Google Chrome, to the website, theunlockingcompany.com, and we're just gonna fill out a few prompts, starting with the manufacturer, which is gonna be Samsung. Then go to select phone model, go down to Galaxy A35 right here. And then you're gonna tap unlock phone. Now next, it's gonna ask you a few more questions. So for example, the country you purchased the phone in, for us, it's United States, and the carrier is gonna be AT&T. It'll give you a price, and right now it's showing um, $27.99, and an average delivery turnaround time of one hour to 72 hours. Now, what that's referring to is specifically, um, once you put the order in, um, they send you a follow-up email that's going to have the current unlocking instructions. Uh, keep in mind the process to unlock phones does change from time to time and it varies depending on the carrier. That's why they give you sort of a window for delivery time. From what I've heard, it usually uh, they'll get back to you within a day. Now, one thing I want to point out is that at the top of the website, they do have four different methods to contact the company if you ever need to follow up on an order. Obviously, you want to wait for that delivery window time to pass first before you follow up. So there's a number you can call, a number you can text, there's a WhatsApp number, and there's a number that you can email, or excuse me, there's an email address as well. So you have a few different ways to contact the company to follow up on your order. And basically, once you get that final unlocking email, follow the steps, and then you'll want to have handy the SIM card that you'll want to use with the phone. Here I have my T-Mobile SIM card and I have my SIM tool. Now this tool is what you're gonna to use to basically take out the old SIM card and put in the new SIM card. Now on the A35, you'll find uh, that slot at the top of the phone, right up here. Now, if you don't have the box of your phone anymore, no problem, you can simply find a paper clip and just bend it back and uh, it'll work just like this. But if you have the box, you'll wanna use the SIM tool, it's just a little bit easier. You'll take this, there's a little hole at the top, you're just gonna give it a little push to pop it out, see like that. You'll take it out, put in that new SIM card, and then go ahead and put it back in the slot. And then it should ask you to restart the phone. And after that, you should be good to go, all right? Hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and as always, have a good one.